Going outside the spacecraft uh, is really a very special thing. I mean, we knew we could do it, but the bosses and the design team want you demonstrating that you weren't going to flop around and poke holes in your suit with the antennas and things like that. Two, one, zero. All engines running. Commit. Liftoff. We have liftoff. So Dave Scott, over in the command module, was photographing uh, with a movie camera. And I got no more than about three or four feet up the handrail um, on the front of the lunar module when Dave said, hey, hold it, uh, the camera jammed. Let me try and fix it. So Jim McDivitt, who's the commander, says, okay, Dave, I can give you five minutes to try and fix it, and Rusty, stay right where you are. So I figured, hey, great, this is my opportunity to really appreciate what's, what's going on. So I just let go with one hand and just sort of swung around looked at the earth below and the black space above and the sun over my shoulder. And I mean, it was this incredible, spectacular view. You have to realize that in that Apollo suit, uh, the radio was voice operated. So when you weren't talking, it was totally silent. And when you're not moving in the suit, when you're just hanging, you're not even aware of the suit. It's floating and you're floating inside it, like you're naked in space. The, the view out the helmet is totally unobstructed. It was a time when I said, okay, I'm just gonna be a human being here and look at what's happening. How did I get here? Humanity has reached this point where we're moving out from the earth. You know, I'm a small part of that, but that's what's going on. And how, how does that happen in history? And what does it mean? And when I say, how did I get here? Who, who am I? What am, am I me or am I us? You know, that, that is very clear that you're there as a representative of humankind. This is, this is humanity moving out and you're just the representative, uh, you know, on that frontier.